you're still watching what are you saying hashtag ways now national pizza day on the february on the 9th of february celebrates one of america's all-time favorite food whether it's in thin crust chicago style dip dish or anything in between pizza is an american favorite over three billion pizzas are sold in the usa each year so what's your favorite pizza pepperoni mm. barbecue chicken With barbecue chicken ah! yes i love it i love barbecue sauce it's so nice Ooh, I'm, I'm a huge you. pizza fan like talking about pizza right now oh my god that picture Whew. why did our producer it's, do this to us yeah. i'm gonna call you and out then, for did me did you see the cheese <laughs> oh and i love extra cheese oh my goodness it's so fast are you saying this to people this, yes but there is this satisfaction i feel when i have pizza w wait and we are still saying fit fam yeah. are you for, are you for ex see, i'm like, sorry you only like live once <laughs> Thin crust is fit fam. Fanta. Yes. <laughs> when when you finish your box of eight, okay. you're still fit farming. <laughs> Hold on. I give up. <laughs> I, I, like, I give up. That's the, that's, I've never heard that before, but I give up. You know, I think we should come together from more, a pizza nation. You know, hmm. the thicker the crust, the more unhealthy it is. So thin crust is, you know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So on that note, we'll leave it there. So, uh, Faith, what did you find for us in the news? Uh, so today, um, I saw... Uh, Mercy Ayigbe, right, the mm -hmm. actress, um, she said marriage is overrated, is an ov is not is an overrated, it's not an achievement rather, um, and she was saying that you know people just feel that um, actresses don't like to stay in marriages, mm -hmm. but it's it's not the case that mm -hmm. she left her marriage um, because you know she was being abused by her husband Larry. And yeah, so basically just saying that actresses are human beings and, you know, growing up, they teach young women to take whatever their partners yeah. give to them. But like, you should leave if it's not, if it's not a healthy relationship, you don't have to stay there. You have nothing to prove to anyone. Just leave, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. Right, you know, I, I do want to put, put in one or two things about this because as an actress, acting exposes you to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. it, it gives you the privilege of living like living in people's shoes and I think actresses are very exposed and that's why it's difficult they're very particular it's difficult for them to just settle for anybody I like marriage I think marriage is important companionship is 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 not overrated I think it's very relevant however for her to tell me that marriage is not necessary no nah, I, I disagree I mean but you must not be no, married but, but it's no, not an achievement it's over, because yeah. the problem in like Nigeria and Africa is like if you're like a woman you're a young woman you mm. have a good job and everything if you're not married it's like you haven't accomplished anything All right, in, in that life. case yes so I think that is where she's coming from and you know she's also saying that they always say that actresses are promiscuous and yeah, this and that, and that and they is don't so like to wrong. stay. Like, who give them in, this mindset? Mm -hmm. no, but, it's annoying. But I think, I just want to add my two cents to this. Um, yeah. I feel that whoever you're getting married to mm -hmm. as a person, you must marry somebody that's confident. You must marry somebody that's, that does not have any trace of um, um, what was it called complex or esteem issues yeah. mm -hmm. and then because your vision aligns. especially when you are in this space where you are exposed to the world yeah. so she I mean you go anywhere they will greet you they will not greet your husband yeah. do you understand so I mean so if the person is not comfortable in their skin mm -hmm. it will be a problem absolutely you know so I, I think I'm just just a general advice get married to someone that understands that this is who I am and this is who you are and appreciates that and respects, right. yeah. and respects that. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sanzi, what did you define for us? Right, so we are moving to the business angle, going all the way to Newi in Anambra State. Newi being the second um, most entrepreneurial, biggest city and very entrepreneurial in Anambra State. That's second to Onisha. Yeah. So Kingsley, former uh, presidential aspirant Kingsley Moore, well, and yeah. of course former uh, deputy CBN governor, said that um, Newi has the capacity of transforming the Nigerian economy be beyond oil, but the major challenge they're going through, the reason they're not pronounced right now is because they're suffering neglect and lack of motivation from the government. And also he went ahead to say that Newi is the only industrial town in the world that is growing without government support. Mm -hmm. Now here is my input as a person who is from Ibuku, Anambra State, and my village <laughs> is like 30 minutes away from Newi. I can confirm this to a huge extent that Newi is very entrepreneurial. I mean, it's, it's like the 
a manufacturing hub. Talk about electronics, spare parts, and um, the first, I think, car assembling machine or something was, okay. was there in Newi. And then we have Innocent, yeah. and we have all these wealthy men from Newi, Fan Yuba, and Ibeto. So if the government can push a little more focus, I mean, we're trying to decongest Lagos. Yeah. Newi is an option. Hmm. It is an option. You know, is it in Enugu? No, it's an Anambra state. Anambra, oh, okay, yes. but I mean, it's not, it's not too it's far. It's still southeast. Yeah, no, southeast. from there to Enugu is, is about an hour, yeah. thirty minutes. Or you 40. know, because you know what, why I'm saying this is, I mean, when we wanted to start our production for palm oil, mm -hmm. we had to travel all the way to the east to get uh, manufacturers to manufacture locally the the entire assembly line for the the palm oil production. Mm -hmm. And the, the, I mean, the machine is doing amazing because our productions have really, really tripled, and the yeah. product so. I have known Igbos to be very industrial. I don't know why we play politics with certain things. The, I mean, there are so many things that were important that if they had empowered yeah, the people, people, I always say Abba, you know, if they had mm -hmm. empowered these people, trust me, would have given them the right materials, because the problem people were complaining about was quality and all of that. Would have given them the right materials to produce these right. things and would use them. So this one we're saying, grow your economy, grow your economy. They're not ready, I don't think. Like so. we have so much within us, yeah. if we just look inside. You know, so talking about that, I think part of it, it also is, uh, what's it called? Um, the concentration on, on fuel, on crude oil. Yes. Which links to my story, because mm -hmm. everybody just abandoned what we were doing and we faced crude oil. And um, the World Economic Forum brought out a report that was, um, by the UN saying mm -hmm. that we could be losing the race against climate change. You know, that's the new report that um, UN is saying. Mm -hmm. And they are also advocating that we should actually stop the use of fossil fuels. Uh, so, I mean, if we're talking um, climate change, climate change, people are not taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. Now would be the time for us to start looking inward and find other lasting solutions that will, you know, that would protect us as, as yeah. human beings because there are floodings everywhere. So many things that are happening. Yeah. I mean, the climate is changing. We saw the we saw it a bit, and you know, the alarming part of this report was saying that it is going to affect every single person. It's a global. Change. Don't think that oh, this thing is far fetched. It's not in Nigeria or whatever. It's actually global. So, and he was saying that the future is not set in stone. One of the um, the guys that did this report. Um, um, Michael Meredith, he yeah. was saying the future is not cast in stone, that what we can do right now is if we start to reduce, mm -hmm. you know, or in fact completely, you know, eradicate okay. the use of fossil fuels, we'll definitely find, you know, a headway towards mm -hmm. all of these things that we're, that we're experiencing. I think it's actually a fantastic topic because I have a couple of questions. Like, the way we drill oil aggressively, yeah. is it contributing to, like, um, climate change and well, there are a couple of questions to ask based on that report. There are a lot of there are a lot of questions that are going to be asked, but what we are saying is, let us not think it is far fetched. Mm -hmm. Let's find alternate solutions, you know, to all our um, energy needs. You know, yeah. there are so many things that we're blessed with that we're not even harnessing. I suppose everybody just concentrating because even, entrepreneurs yes. because then and even concentrating on fuel is what has caused something like this because we're not focusing on growing other parts. Sector. It's just probably mm -hmm. lip service because if you truly want to grow our economy, clothes, all this, yeah. you can yeah. have it, and it's going to be a, a massive change in our economy. I mean, we have yeah. the population to support. Absolutely, we do have the numbers. We have it. That's why everybody's running to Nigeria. Yeah, <laughs> except Trump. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, as we said today, we're talking sexual molestation and we have our first guest that will join us right after the break please stay with us